Yo, what's good everybody on YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in back for another video on this channel And this one is gonna be a nice little sneaker pickup video But it's gonna be a lot different just because I feel like I'm showing you guys a lot of pickups from Nike Jordan Off-white whatever it is, but this shoe right here is actually gonna be from Puma hoops your boy recently purchased these off of the Puma website and uh, I'm actually super excited to show you guys these so hopefully you guys enjoy this video sit back relax and let's just hop into it all right, you know the drill before the video starts, please go ahead and smash that like button for me and then also subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed. Those two things do go a long way. So thank you guys so much for all the love lately. It does mean a lot. So when unboxing this shoe, I was actually really surprised to get this Dreamer box. I feel like this was the box that YouTubers and other influencers were sent. As you can see, it does have J. Cole on the top. I believe this is when he missed the dunk in All-Star Game. And then you have the nice little Puma logo, Dreamer with the clouds. I really mess with this box a lot. I, f I really wish that everybody who got this shoe was able to get this box. As you guys can see, it did get a size 10 in this shoe. And then also, speaking of the box, it did come with some special Dreamer paper as well. So there it is. Um, as you guys can see, it says Dreamer. Sorry if this clip is really bad. There you guys go. It says Dreamer with J. Cole on it. I think these shoes are dope. Alright, so hopping into the shoe, as you guys can tell, I did pick up the Laker colorway. And honestly, I think this colorway is super nice. Um, I believe they're calling these the Purple Hearts. The first player I saw holding these was Kyle Kuzma on the way to the game, and I thought they were a player exclusive. But to see Puma drop this shoe for the fans, I thought this was super dope, and I figured why not go ahead and purchase it. Purchase it. I believe this retailed at 125, which ended up being like 134 shipped from the actual Puma website. And honestly, these are kind of reselling. I've seen these go for like $200, and I believe they're dropping down to like 120. So if you guys are interested in these, these are pretty affordable. If you guys need some dope hoop shoes, um, I am gonna bring these on court and tell you guys how they perform. Um, so if you guys want a performance review, just let me know and I'll go ahead and push that out for you guys. But I figured why not give Puma a shot just because I feel like they've been dropping some kind of dope stuff lately. They have the whole Puma Rude collab, and then they have uh, this shoe right here. Honestly, the colorway that first dropped, the first original colorway in these are the best ones, and I feel like those are super, super dope on court. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to go ahead and play in these. Like I said, hopefully they do perform well as I would like them to. You guys know me, when it comes to sneaker videos, I'm not gonna show you guys like full details. The one thing I do love about this shoe though is the Dreamer with the cloud on the back, and then also the box. Um, I can't talk about the box enough, but I think these shoes are dope. Like I said, that first colorway goes crazy. It looks amazing on court, but I feel like Puma is aiming towards the younger generation when it comes to the players that they're signing. Um, I believe they recently recently just signed LaMelo Ball, which is kind of big. And then also uh, Neymar left Nike for uh, Puma. I don't even know if that's true or not, but let me know what you guys think about Puma. These retailing at $125, I feel like they're worth it. And hopefully they do perform well on court, which I'll show you guys that tonight. If you guys do want a performance review on the shoe, let me know. But I kind of just wanted to make this video and ask you guys, is Puma basketball worth it? And um, honestly, with the colorways they're pushing out and how they look like on court, I think they might be. It just kind of depends on whether they're worth it as far as like cushion and if they feel good on court. Um, but yeah, I think these are dope. Let me know what you guys think about these, if you would cop them or not, or whether it is a drop. I know some of you guys follow me for like fashion and all the hype sneakers, but I do play basketball and I figured why not go ahead and show you guys these. So before I go ahead and wrap up this video, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on Instagram. And I wanna give a huge shout out to the homie Alfonso Romeo. I'll go ahead and shout out his Instagram right here. He did reach out to me and sold me this dope piece from the Nike Fear God NBA collection. Um, so as you guys can see, it just has these small swoosh and then it says Fear God, Air Fear God on the back. I thought this shirt was super dope and he gave it to me for a steal. So shout out to you, brother. If you're watching this, I appreciate you for providing me a good deal with this t-shirt. I actually really, really like this shirt a lot. So it does have the NBA on the sleeve. But yeah, shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for this t-shirt. I do do, I do do, I do buyouts. And if you guys are interested in selling me anything that I could sell in the web store, go ahead and DM me on Instagram. But yeah. 
Thank you, bro. I appreciate this t-shirt for the personal collection. It does mean a lot. Thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please go ahead and smash that like button for me and then also subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about Puma basketball or just Puma as a whole and what they're doing. I'd like to get a little discussion down below in the comment box. So go ahead and get that discussion going. Let me know what you guys think about Puma hoops or this shoe in general, like the whole J. Cole thing and the Dreamer thing. I think these are dope and I'm gonna go ahead and hoop in these. If you guys would like a performance review, like I said, let me know down below and I'll try and get that out to you guys. Um, give you guys my opinion on whether these are actually worth playing in or just wearing casually. Um, I would never wear these casually, but I would hoop in them, so hopefully they do feel really good on court. I haven't worn them on court yet, so I wouldn't. If you guys haven't done so yet, go ahead and check out B-Flake Supply, which is my web store. It does mean a lot to me when you guys shop with me on my web store, so go ahead, check it out. I'll leave a link down below in the description box, bflakesupply.com. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for all the love. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Peace. You know the drill, if you're sticking to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for all the love. If you are here right now, go ahead and comment the purple heart emoji, just so I know you stuck to the end and watched the video the whole way through. I only say the purple heart emoji just because these are what they're called, the purple hearts. And uh, yeah, thank you to the homie for hooking it up for the Nike tee, brand new with the StockX tag, so I really messed with the center swoosh. Thank you guys for all the love. Hopefully you guys did check out the web store recently. I did do a recent drop. And for the uh, raffle, I did announce the raffle winner that is shipped out to you already. So whoever joined that raffle, thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Also, sneak peek for the next video is right here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.